Hey, what's up guys? This is 2M4K from Tech Entourage. Welcome to my channel. Today's Tech Credible Review is about OnePlus 2 and the CyanogenMod 14.1. Let's dig into it. Cyanogen Mod or CM14.1 is based on Android 7 Nugget. It has been released for the OnePlus 2 about 20 days ago and still in nightlies. Or in other words, a not fully stable version. The ROM comes with a bunch of new features. The first noticeable one is the quick toggle on the setting menu which allows you to toggle Wi-Fi, data, flight mode and many other options on and off. The second noticeable one is the left bar in the settings menu, which allows quick swap between settings categories. The system is very responsive and smooth, from quick to slow scrolling, no lags noticed. You can feel the noticeable smoothness and speed while multitasking, even with split screen, which is a way better than the previous version in the CM13. The editable statue bar isn't something new in the CyanogenMod, mode, but this time it comes with tiles from installed apps. So, you can get tiles from your favorite apps that you install them from Google Play, but I'm not pretty sure if all sorts of apps can be added to the tiles in the statue bar. It also comes with two new type of tiles. The first one is Profile GPU Rendering, which I had no ideas what it does. And the second one is Show Wired Bones, which is almost similar to Pointer Location from the developer options, but this one gives layouts for icons and tiles shapes. But the main use of these features is not obvious for me yet. Scrolling notification bar is not only to preview the notifications anymore, but also to interact with, like to replay for emails or SMSs pose backward, forward or mute music and more useful options like follow back on Twitter or on Google Plus or put a like on Facebook. It's very useful and responsive. The double tab feature on the multitasking menu which allows you to swap very quickly between the two recent apps is very useful. I really like it. Another new feature, which I love it, is when a long tab, an app icon, a pop-up menu shows up with options within the app itself, so I can go straight away to do what I want from the app without wasting time scrolling and searching inside the app. It is very useful improvement in the way on how to interact with apps. Battery life on this ROM is amazing. It charges so fast. I got a fully battery charged in about 1 hour and 20 minutes. Before with the CM13, I used to flash both Lacana for more battery life. It was convenient since I don't worry about the battery life the whole day. But as I noticed on this ROM, there is really no need to flash any custom kernel since I end my day with about 35-40% to of battery alive, which is really good and convenient for me. I really appreciate when developers think about time-saving features while browsing and using the system. 
it makes it a lot easier for users to perform tasks on their devices in a very responsive way and way faster than before. Like the pop-up when long pressing an app, the interactive notification bar, the left bar in the setting menu, the editable tiles in the statue bar, all of these new features and improvements make the user feel the difference and make it enjoyable to use it with easiness and time saving. What I miss in this room, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, is the theme chooser. What makes Cyanogen mode different is, in Cyanogen mode, almost everything is customizable. From the theme till the tiny things like fonts, tables, statue bar colors, almost everything. I had a good time the days I used to be able to make my phone look very different than the day before. So it is a bit disappointing not to find the theme chooser alongside with such powerful features newly implemented. Well, lags and crash or four stops. Nothing noticeable except some installed apps like Weather Underground. For me, Weather Underground keep crashing, especially when uh, using Wi-Fi. I don't know why. And the store camera while recording videos. Sometimes it crashes and stop working until the phone gets restarted. Well, for me, these two things are not very major problems. Uh, like the camera, I use a, um, a camera app from uh, the Google Play Store, which is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, a camera FV5. And it works very well without crashing. Well, except some minor bugs, which I am pretty sure that Cyanogen Mod team will work on them and fix them in the next upcoming monthly releases, or maybe a snapshot, which is a stable release from Cyanogen Mod team. I don't see any major problem that holds us from using this ROM as a daily driver. I'm using it as a daily driver since about 15 days and I am pretty convinced and satisfied with the performance, the quality and the features. This is it for Cyanogy in Mod today guys. I hope you like the video. If you do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for my channel. For any further information or questions, Please let me know where in the comment section below. So this is it guys. See you in the next video. Peace.